Welcome back everyone to another video. I am very excited for today's video because we will be editing audio for a YouTube video using Lexus Audio Editor. Now I did my research and found that Lexus seems to be the best audio editor available on the Play Store. It has all the features you need to make your audio sound better and the best of all, it's completely free to download and use. If you are new around here and you like to learn new things, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon. Don't hit it because we need it to function properly. It's already broken as is. So, this video will be divided into two sections. First, I will explain all the things and functions of each button on the app and what they do. So, if you're just starting out on YouTube, this video will be your one-stop shop for learning how to make your audio sound good on your phone. In section 2, we will record a short audio and we will edit it here together like a family. Okay, no, that sounds uncomfortable. Forget what I just said. If you would like to skip, the timestamps for section 2 will be on your screen right now and also in the description below in detail. So if you are here to learn a specific thing about the app, you can just skip to it. So let's walk through the app's functions. When you first open the app after granting mic and storage permissions, you will be granted with this old Windows Phone interface, which I'm honestly not a fan of. So let's import an audio file so I can demonstrate some stuff, after that we will edit it in section 2. In the middle we have our glorious timeline that shows our audio waveform. The red line is our playhead which can be moved around with the blue slider on the bottom. You can also double tap on the waveform to play your audio from a certain point. On top of the timeline, we have two in and out sliders that can be moved around. We will use it to select parts of our audio, delete it or add effects to it. On the top left corner, we have two rectangles that shows audio sensitivity. When you play your audio, it will show you how loud or quiet it is. The sweet spot is under minus 8 and minus 4 dB. Any quieter or louder than that is meme worthy. Next to it, there's another slider that allows you to control your recording volume. It's best that you get close to your mic when you're recording because increasing volume here distorts the audio, which you don't want. Then we have the play button, pause button, record button, and we have another yellow record button that lets you add a recording in the middle of your audio. So let's say if you forgot something to say in your recording, you can add it later. And next to it, we have the stop button. Below it, you will notice that a loop button appears when you move the in and out points. This loop button basically plays audio in a loop under a selected area. So if you have a selection active and enable the loop option and hit play, it will play that area over and over. On top, we have an open button and a save button. Open lets you select your audio file and save button, well, lets you save your audio. Next to it, we have a zoom in and out button. I wish they could be replaced with undo and redo button but I hope they add it in the future. Or is that too much to ask? On the top right corner, the three dots take you to your effects, copy paste, options, trim and all additional features of the app, which we will be using later in the video. Alright, now that you know what everything does, let's begin with recording a short audio clip. Keep in mind, I'm in a room with blankets around me on the walls to make sure there is no echo. If you want to know more about my dumb recording setup, Make sure you check out my behind the scenes video in the card above or link in the description. So uh, let's record a short clip. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you, no. Today I will be teaching you how you can um, edit audio on your phone. Alright, now first thing we will do is get rid of unnecessary parts like us and arms and empty spaces. So let's play it. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Today I will show, no. Today I will be teaching you how to um, edit audio on your phone. A lot can be removed here. So let's move the in point a little bit to the right so that the out point gets enabled. Then I'll move the out point to the exact part to where I want to cut. The first all uh, needs to be removed. Open the drop down menu and tap delete to delete the selected area. And now if you play it. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Today I will show, no, we don't get bored. And now I will do this for the rest of the audio. Same process, play, select and delete. This process might take a while if you have a longer audio, but trust me, it's totally worth it. All right, let's hear the before. <coughs> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Today I will show, no. Today I will be teaching you how to um, edit audio on your phone. And after doing the cleanup. 
Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to edit audio on your phone. Keep in mind that I'm doing this before and after thing in my editing program and is not inside the app. So don't get confused about it. I'm doing this so that you know how it sounded before and how it sounds after we add the effects to it. Alright, so that sounds much better, but the audio is still not clear enough. So let's first add a normalize effect to even out any highs and lows. Make sure the whole audio is selected. Open up the drop down menu, go into effects and select normalize. Next we will remove all background noise. Go into effects and select noise reduction. Depends on how much noise there is in your audio, you will have to play around with these settings to find the sweet spot. Feel free to copy my settings if you want. Your goal here is to basically remove all background noise while keeping your vocals clean and undistorted. If your voice does get distorted, a little bit of noise won't be the end of the world. Let's hear it before. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to edit audio on your phone. And the after. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to edit audio on your phone. Next, we will open up equalizer and add a bit of bass to the vocals. Here I basically increased bass, decreased the mids and slightly tweaked the lows. If you want, you can pause the video and copy my settings. Hit apply when you're done. Next, we will add a compressor and normalize it once more to even everything out. And we're done. Let's now export it by tapping the save button. Choose your save location and select dot wave format from the drop down menu. Wave keeps the audio uncompressed and doesn't affect the quality, so I would recommend saving in wave format. Make sure you check if your audio editing software so, software so, software software. How do you how do you say software? Okay, Google. How do you say software? That's pronounced software. Okay. Thanks, Google. You're the best. I aim to please. Make sure you check if your audio editing software supports this format. If it doesn't, you can export it in MP3. Let's now hear a last preview of how it sounded before we added any effects. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Today I will show, no. Today I will be teaching you how to um, edit audio on your phone. And now let's hear how it sounds now after adding all the effects and cuts. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be teaching you how to edit audio on your phone. Huge difference. So that does it for this video, I really hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you have suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave them in the comments below as well. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss the future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.